What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So, um, we're going to check this trailer out. I love you. You hate me. I heard there was a Barney documentary going on, uh, coming about. However, I didn't know where they were going. I didn't know if it was going to be like the origin of Barney and how he has had an impact on kids. No, apparently I think this is going to be a little bit dark. So, um, we're going to check out the trailer. Shall we? In about a three. It just explodes. <laughs> it was a cultural phenomenon. What color is happier than purple? No color. This is I don't know how to take this comment. This is what it okay. like. Barney stands for inclusion, acceptance. I had that plus dog. We all have Cheryl Leach to thank for that. As her love character what was heading into the stratosphere, People couldn't accept that this was just a show. And, and so, let the bashing begin. Some of the rumors that I heard, Barney hides drugs in his tail. They were violent and explicit. Death and dismemberment of my family. I love you, Barney. They were gonna come and find me, and they were going to kill me. Oh. Just the dark side of this whole moment. That must have devastated Cheryl. There was something larger going on here. I don't think you could ever think somebody would go and shoot someone. Damn. Not all this darkness around Barney. I mean, Jesus. I thought this, they was gonna like, I thought this was gonna be directed something towards, um, something to do with Barney, the actual character. But, you know, but I'm not surprised though because there's always some bullshit behind the scenes, y'all. Um, and that's just with so many, like, shows whether it's rated for kids adults everybody like um because i've definitely heard like a lot of stories regarding you know like some dark shit going on behind the scenes with different movies and a lot of um like networks that were for kids uh prime example nickelodeon um if you guys remember um, the amanda Bynes show uh the producer or director whatever his name was, somebody in the comment section comment his name, um, you know, and I think he also came up with Victorious as well. And he was just on some suspect shit. I mean, he was over here, you know, telling Ariana Grande and the other girl, female cast members to like show their toes and shit on camera. It was very weird, very disturbing, very suspect. Because I even seen a clip on the Amanda Bynes show and uh, she was obviously a little girl then and she was in a hot tub, you know, she had a bathing suit on. And here this grown ass man was the same producer, I believe he was, in the hot tub with her, with his clothes on. With his clothes on, like, you wouldn't find that weird or out of whack to you. You know, I'm telling you, the, the stories that you hear of what goes on in Hollywood is just like, it's not a far stretch because sometimes you can just sense the shit, you know? And um, just like too, like with these animatronic looking characters, Barney wasn't necessarily that because there was an actual, actual human being playing him. But like, you know, Chuck E. Cheese and shit, like I've heard a lot of creepy stories about things that have happened and occurred in Chuck E. Cheese. And I'm like, damn, I don't want nothing to do with that. I mean, but I mean, I didn't really have a um, bad experience in Chuck E. Cheese. Only this one time where um, I was bullied and you know, the adult of the little bully kid, you know, pretty much condoned it. And just leave that there. Very sad world y'all, very sad world. But um, this looks interesting. Uh, I don't have Peacock, so I don't know if I'm gonna really watch this or not. I might try to straight buy it or something. I don't know, rent it out, I don't know. But um, shout out to Barney. And uh, it's not surprising though, it's, it was some bullshit behind the scenes. You know, and it was supposed to be a show for kids, pretty much. And you got all this mess going on. I wonder, did the, um, wait, did Al Walker, he didn't play Barney, did he? He didn't play the voice of no damn Barney, did he? But I was confused why he was up in here, but okay. Um, like, he didn't cuss none of them kids out or nothing like that. I would hope not. But, um, did Barney cuss one of the producers or something? I would love to know that, but I guess we're gonna see when this comes out, uh, next week. Uh, but that, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below your thoughts. Um, did you guys enjoy the Barney show back in the day? Um, did you guys have any of the plush dolls, the toys, the merchandise that they had? 
I definitely had a Barney plush doll and I enjoyed it back at that time. Hell, I had the Teletubbies, I had Elmo, bitch, I had, I had the Rugrats plush dolls. And then with some big ass, cause those were like life size plush dolls of um, Tommy, Chucky, Angelica, and Dill. Those were the main ones they had. I don't think they ever made Phil and Lil, which was stupid as fuck. Like they were the main part of the crew. Like it was Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Angelica, Susie. Oh, wait, hold on. Baby Dill, and then Kimmy came along afterwards. Like, hello, come on. Like how the fuck y'all not gonna make the rest of them? But it's, it's cool, it's fine. But I had hella Rugrats toys, y'all. Rugrats was the she yacht she yacht she yacht I don't give a fuck. None of y'all said we had, I will say it to the end of time. Back in the day, we had the best from the 90s to the early to mid 2000s. Where the Nickelodeon Disney Channel cartoon that where we had some of the best fucking cartoons. Some of the best motherfucking cartoons. Nowadays, these cartoons today, I wouldn't dare watch them. Okay, because let me tell you something. When I had my first child, okay. When I had my first child, oh, he is going to know about all of the greats. From Rugrats to SpongeBob to Cat Dog to Looney Tunes, the old school version. Um, not the one that's on now where they look like they strung out on drugs. Um, what else? Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents, and I didn't even watch that like that. Um, Dora the Explorer, Danny Phantom, Dexter's Laboratory, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Courage the Cowley Doll. I could go on. Camp Laszlo, um, Codename Kids Next Door, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, or My Gym Class Partner's a Monkey. Something like that. Something like that. Hell, Batman, Harley Quinn, and the Joker are everything. Roly poly oly. Up high in the roly poly sky. Y'all remember that shit. Y'all remember that shit. Lilo and Stitch. We had it all. We had it all, goddammit. <sighs> But you guys, like I said, since it is the month of October, I want us to watch some spooky shit together. So please leave that in the comment section. Please, any um, animated stories, um, clips, trailers, whatever, drop that shit in the comments. And last but not least, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram, hit that notification bell. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy your weekend and happy Friday. Taylor Rain and this Powerpuff Girl is out.